First thing is slope is basically, you know, the inclination of a line, like how steep it is or how non-steep it is, whether it's positive, like it's going up to the right, it's increasing, or it's negative, it's going down to the right, it's decreasing. Zero slope is a horizontal line, and vertical line is an undefined slope. So you can see slope is defined as the rise, so the vertical change, okay, over the run, which is the horizontal, like the left and right change. Sometimes written as delta y over delta x, okay, or you can use the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. When you subtract the y's, that gives you the vertical change up and down, divided by the x's, that gives you the horizontal change left and right. Sometimes students make a little mistake, so be careful here. They'll put the x's in the numerator and the y's in the denominator. Make sure you don't do that um, because the y's control the rise. You want that in the numerator and the run, the x's in the denominator. So let's look at some examples. So there's a couple different ways to do this. One way is just to count the rise and the run. So let's say we wanted to find the slope of this line right here, okay? One way to do it is we can just count. We can say, well, we're going down three, okay, minus three, and we're going right two, that's positive two. So down is negative, up is positive, right is positive, left is negative, kind of like think of the number line, that'll help you. And so basically here the slope is, you can see we went down three, that's the rise, we went run two, that's positive two, so our slope is negative three halves. Now if we wanna use the formula, think of this as point number one, x1, y1, think of this as point number two, x2, y2. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna subtract the y, so I'm gonna do, uh, let's do it this way, we'll do zero minus three, okay, the order's important, so zero minus three, so the y2 minus y1, and then x2 minus x1, so three minus one, so that gives us negative three over two, and you can see we get the exact same slope. Now what you don't wanna do, I'll just make a, a note here, is that you don't wanna do y2 minus y1, and then x1 minus x2. See how we switched up the order like midway? You wanna stay consistent. You can do three minus zero, and then one minus three, or like we did, we did zero minus three, and then three minus one, so we're taking point two minus point one, but you could flip it and do it the opposite way, point one minus point two. You just don't wanna mix and match. Okay, so let's look at another example. Let's say we wanna find the slope from this point to this point. Let's draw that like so. Okay, the slope of that line, we can tell it's positive because it's going up to the right, just like when you read a book from left to right in English, okay? Um, so you can think of it as increasing going up, as x is increasing, y is increasing, okay? So here we have a rise, one, two, three, and the run, one, two, three. So we're going up three, and we're going right three, three divided by three is one. So this has a slope of positive one. Now if we wanna use the formula, the y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, we're gonna do, let's do this point minus this point. So we'll do three minus zero, over one minus negative two. Okay, when you subtract, subtraction is like adding the opposite. So this comes out to three. Three minus zero is three. Three over three is one. We get a slope of one. Okay, let's do another example now. Let's say we had a point, let's just say it's right here, and another point right here. And we wanna look at the slope of that line. Well, okay, this point is negative two, zero. This, Actually, I'm sorry, this point here is negative three, zero, and this point here is negative three, negative two. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do y minus y, x minus x, so zero minus negative two, and negative three minus negative three. Now, look what we have here. We've got positive two over zero. When zero's in denominator, you can't divide by zero, so that means this is undefined. You can draw a zero with a line through it, or you can write the word undefined. It means this is a vertical line, okay? If it was the other way, if it was zero over two, when zero's in the numerator and something besides zero's in the denominator, then it's a zero slope, and that's a horizontal line. So here's some examples for finding slope. Again, you can either count the rise over the run, or you can use your slope, slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. If you're enjoying these videos, you're learning something, subscribe to the channel, 
and uh, check out some of my past videos, and I'll see you in the next video.